All right, so we're back out here. It's been about oh, at least a week. Ordered a bunch of parts, and it's just been taking forever to get parts in. And finally, I think I've got everything I, I need at this point. So I haven't had a lot to do, but I wanted to go over what I've done so far and also some, some uh, questions that I had that came up that I've kind of worked through. But... Some stuff that, you know, if I show you this, it might help you in your quest. So, first off, timing cover. Oh, easy. Um, you know, really cleaned up all these surfaces because we're going to have to re-silicone that. Um, so... Scraping really carefully with razor blade and then um, a little bit of scotch bright and You know we'll clean it with solvent real good right before we put the, the silicone to it also knocked out the front front main seal and ordered a new one and you get to hit these three spots where the um, The motor mount comes through because these actually also double as Ceiling points and they're torqued to a very specific torque as well to hold this whole cover on. Also, got my valve cover gasket set and I replaced all the spark plug seals, the, um, uh, geez, what is it called? The phaser solenoid um, seal boot. And VCT solenoid, I believe it is. And <clears throat> the gasket replaced with the new gasket. These are kind of a pain to get out and get the new ones in, but got to do it either in there. And the, the cover set also came with these rubber um, grommets, which are replaced on all the the valve cover bolts. So just some stuff to do while I was waiting. It was kind of tedious. And then on the block, again, you know, the, the surfaces in here and all the way down the sides. You know, we'll, we'll have to clean these really good with solvent before we seal it up, but I'll apply the eighth inch silicone bead on this side. And then push the cover onto it. They say to get some studs and thread them into some of these holes to help align the cover when you first put it on. So I'll probably make some of those up. So that's about all, the, all I've done for, for labor. Now, <clears throat> I did get the timing tools in, so these are pretty common. Amazon or wherever about 30 bucks. That's the part number They're kind of a dime a dozen. There's a lot of options, but you know once you get to top dead center these these slide right on the Exhausted intake cam and they gotta lay flat on this block Now Where I got confused was I'm a little suspicious. I thought I might have jumped timing <clears throat> Because at top dead center, these marks didn't look quite right. But um, what makes it tough is the factory chain, at least on this car. It was really hard to find the colored links. So you don't really have anything to align the crankshaft down here. You know, the, the manual says, you know, at top dead center on cylinder one, you'll be about four o'clock on the timing mark, which is right there. And the main key will be at about 11 o'clock. Well, that's great, but really what it comes down to is the colored links. So <clears throat> you probably can't see, maybe you can, on this, um, this chain, but two links are slightly darker. Uh, these two right here. And... Um, I can... 
hold the flashlight. Maybe not. But so this link and this link are the two dark ones. Now, at one point, I was able to turn this engine over a bunch of times until this timing mark was between those two links. That's where you want to be, but I made the mistake of turning it over a few more times, and I think I've turned it over, geez, 10 or 12 more times, and I cannot get it to realign. So at this point, I just gave up and said, I'll mark, you know, here and mark the other two and then check against the new chain. But factory chain came with two colored links, which when it was assembled were on either side of this dot, if that makes sense. And then what really confused me was there's only one more colored link on this factory chain, and that's uh, right here. And when I did have those two aligned on that bottom mark, I did also have this one aligned on this mark. So I know that I, my timing was good. Crank to this cam. Uh, and like I said, it. I haven't gotten it back there since after spinning it around a bunch of times. So I just painted this one instead for counting purposes later on. But there is no colored mark on the chain on the on the stock chain to align with with uh, with this mark. And that's what's throwing me off is I, I had no way to tell if I had slipped timing on this cam because the the. The factory didn't give me a colored link on this on this for this side so as best as I could tell the only way I could confirm was time you know verify timing this one to this one and then throw the tools on and if they slid on I was okay but these tools are pretty sloppy so I really was hoping the new chain came with three colored links which would make things a lot simpler for me <clears throat> And sure enough, it does. Thank goodness. So now they give you, there's your crank. And then, you know, one of these will align with one cam. And I'm assuming this one will align with the other cam. So that's great. Thanks. Thanks, Mazda. <coughs> so... We'll see, but you know, I have my painted marks where the chain is now, so I will compare this chain to that chain when I get it off and see what's going on. But I also want to hang the two chains together and see if I had any stretch in this chain, just out of curiosity. But I will say that when I was turning this thing over 10, 15 times with a ratchet, I could watch this pump jump up and down and watch the... Um, the chain actually slightly jump off the guides um, as I turned it, which is pretty uh, pretty scary. And then I also noticed on the cover, uh, somewhere here, oh yeah, right, right here, you can see where the chain was actually jumping off enough to touch the cover, right there. So. Definitely pretty sloppy. So, the other thing I want to point out was I'm going to be I'm going to be replacing the back chains as well. And to, to replace those, you've got to take off the phasers and these pulleys. And it uses four bolts, this one right here, which are stretch bolts. So they're a one-time use, you torque them till they, they yield. And the shop manual says T55 or T55 plus. I can tell you right now, T55 is, is too sloppy. So a T55 would be you know, this style with the, with the star points and you, know, you you put that in there 
and you can see there's there's a lot of slop in that and you got to put a lot of torque on these so i i do not recommend that it would probably work but really what you want is is this guy with the square tips t55 plus i believe it is and fortunately i had a set from an, an audi head job that i did so and you, you know when you, when you get that in there it's very tight so that's what you want if you do try a t55 uh good luck because if it rounds out and strips out the bolt i don't know how you ever get it out and so i'm still waiting for a couple bolts but you know i, I got the new ones a couple new ones <clears throat> a few more coming all new guides um here's the, the great water pump oh yeah much much less sloppy I, I still can't believe they they thought this was a good idea you know this one will fail too someday awesome uh, front main seal Nice new chain, here's the back chains. So the back chains, there's also colored links that you'll need to line up with those cams. But fortunately, everything is locked in place by those alignment tools. So it should go pretty smoothly. And got these off the solenoids. You definitely wanna be very careful with these. Do not get crud in, in any of these little passages. Keep these real clean. Don't screw those up. I'm kind of excited to get into this this weekend and get the new chain on there. Um, other than that, uh, you know, I got all new tensioners, so I'll be replacing that tensioner, this tensioner, and this tensioner. And I went with all dealer parts, so pretty pricey. I think I got about 600 into all these p parts. But I wasn't going to mess with aftermarket after I, you know, spent this much time tearing into this. So we'll get some more footage once I, uh, once I get into this on Saturday. <laughs> 